After election results have recently been announced in five states, there are multiple, of course, speculations about who will be the chief ministerial candidate from these states and who will be taking oath finally. Let's quickly take a look at some of the developments coming in from these states. States. We first look at Rajasthan. It is quite interesting to note that Vasundra Rajay has already held meetings with around 20 MLAs and the BJP MLAs present at her residence want her to be the chief minister. But what will be the final outcome? Will someone else then be given the baton to carry on? My colleague Uday Pratap Singh with us on the broadcast. I also have with me Priya Segal. Uday, can you hear me? Absolutely, absolutely, uh, Devika. Yes, Ode, what are you picking up from uh, Jaipur where you're currently standing? If you can just uh, share the latest details with our viewers. Absolutely, Devika. Right now, in fact, uh, you can see uh, cars are leaving from the residence of Vasundra Rajay. These are, uh, uh, you know, supporters of her uh, uh, MLAs who just got recently elected, who are reaching uh, one by one. Uh, that's uh, uh, one MLA car. There's another MLA car who you can see leaving uh, behind me. Huge media activity here since the morning. We had broken that news, of course, on NewsX through our sources that the Vasundra Rajay camp is likely to go in for a show of strength, uh, you know, today and tomorrow, where, of course, uh, the MLAs are, are going to be coming uh, who are close to her, who are supported by her, who are backing her uh, to be the next Chief Minister of Rajasthan. About 25 to 30 MLA's estimates are that have reached her residence uh, uh, you know, since the morning. These include, of course, MLA's from uh, uh, all the way from Bharatpur to Jhalawar uh, to uh, the various constituencies of Jaipur as well to Bhilwada who have, of course, been coming here, meeting her. They say uh, when we ask them that they haven't been called. Uh, but they are coming uh, to, uh, you know, congratulate her for the win and, of course, uh, uh, you know, just meet her, uh, 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 you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a courtesy call. However, if we read in between the lines, it's obviously an indication by Vasundra Rajay that, uh, you know, many MLAs, many former MLAs, many MPs, many uh, organizational members in Rajasthan, a majority of them still want her and she still kind of holds sway amongst them. Uh, so it's a clear message that is, of course, being sent out uh, to the BJP High Command. Remember, it's not something as loud or as uh, showy as we saw in 2018, where it was a weak Congress High Command dealing with uh, Sachin Pilot and Ashok Gehlot, who were also doing uh, you know, shows of strength of their own. So, obviously, here it's more Parde Ki Piche because it's a strong High Command in the BJP. And the numbers, uh, Devika, are the key. So, the number of uh, uh, BJP in Rajasthan went to 115 finally yesterday. If it had been under 110, then Rajay's chances would have increased. But since it's 115, it can be anything because uh, the BJP feels it's quite comfortable and there won't be any sort of rebellion if they go in for a fresh face or a new name. Now, who could that be? Well, that's what uh, speculations are, uh, you know, rife that it could perhaps be, uh, you know, one of the names from the centre. So, Gajin Shikhavat, Arjun Ram Meghwal, uh, Ashwini Vaishnav, these are names doing the rounds. Uh, also, uh, new, uh, you know, new entrants in the Legislative Assembly like Dia Kumari are being talked about as well. She won by the highest margin in Rajasthan yesterday, 71,000. Will the Rajkumari replace the Maharani? This is something that's been talked about for a while here in Rajasthan. Uh, but uh, those MLAs, uh, interestingly, are all in Delhi right now. Those aspirants are all in Delhi. For the parliament session, on the face of it, but we are being told through our sources again to hold meetings with the BJP High Command either inside or outside parliament. So as you can see here, more activity at Vasundaraj's residence. This is what we've been seeing here since the morning. A steady stream of cars going inside and outside. We've spoken to some MLAs on record. However, of course, they don't say much. They say it's going to be the BJP High Command uh, who will decide. But Gopichand Meena, one MLA from Jahan, Aspur today said, Madam ka netwitta pehle bhi tha, hum chahenge ki aage bhi ho, baake, baaki high command faisla karega. So that right. in a way is quite telling of their stand, but what will the high command decide? That's something we'll know perhaps in 24 Absolutely. to 48 hours because no word yet on when the BJP legislators meeting will happen. Okay, Uday, stay on with us. Some breaking news also coming in. Former IT Minister Sachin Pilot, Congress leader, expressing his joy over his second victory from Tonk Assembly constituency, dedicating his victory to the people and workers. Let's quickly listen in what Pilot has had to say. उसको भी जवाब दे दे करने के लिए हम पार्टी के माध्यम से जनता के लिए जो है सर जो उनके उस दिन बोला था आपको कहीं कुछ तथ्य में दमन जी तुरंत उन्होंने इस तरह की बात लगाई 
जो गोला है वो गंभीर मुद्दा है और ये चिंता का विषय बड़े क्लोज सलाहकार है सर जो गंभीर मुद्दा है चिंता का विषय Okay, we'll come to Sachin Parrot in just a moment. What's happening within the Congress? But Priya Segal, let me bring you into the conversation. You've also heard uh, what Uday has to report from the ground as far as Rajasthan is concerned. What is it that you're picking up, Priya, as far as uh, any sort of indication that the BJP might give? Now they've had a very clear victory, Priya. They didn't want to go into the elections with a clear chief ministerial face, and one can understand that that strategy has worked rather well for them. But now that it is cemented, it's all done and dusted, what next uh, is the BJP going to do? And why is it that they're then delaying some of these conversations or announcements? Um, Devika, in fact, uh, before I uh, answer your question, I also want to compliment Uday. He's been really reporting well and keeping us abreast on Rajasthan and one of the few people who got a, a quote from Vasundra Raja on a campaign. So that's, you know, very interestingly, Vasundra has not been giving any interviews during the campaign. She's been keeping it very low profile, playing by the book. She didn't, you know, uh, do any rebellion, even though her name was not on the first list. Whatever she did was behind the scenes. Today, this show of strength by the MLAs also is it's the Shakti Pradarshan. Uday was right, you know, it's not just a curtsy call there is more to it than that but the way the BJP works, what I'm hearing, Devika, is uh, that her chances are pretty slim. Uh, there are a couple of other names because, you know, there's Banana hi tha, fir ki panga kyu lete, is what one of BJP leader told me. Then why deny her the name and the, you know, pres her presence on the dais as a CM face? There was a reason she was kept out. They felt there was a, some kind of an anti incumbency against her. The f uh, election was fought really on the prime minister's name and goodwill. For him to bring Vasundra in right now is also him ceding space to her. So I don't see that happening. Uh, the name of a very interesting name that is doing the rounds is uh, of Balaknath, Mahant Balaknath. He is a yogi. He belongs to the same Nath sect as Yogi Adityanath. In fact, one of his star campaigners was Yogi Adityanath. He is an MP who was asked to contest the local uh, MLA election, like a, a lot of ministers and MPs. Mm -hmm. uh, he comes from Tijara, which is near Alwar. And he, uh, you know, he wears the saffron. And you could see even during the campaign, um, Devika, there were the uh, mandatory JCBs parked <laughs> nearby to show, you know, those um, bulldozers that were so part of Yogi Adityanath's UP campaign. So it's the same hard hit the Twa kind of uh, image it it is also, uh, you know, the go keeping in line with the Prime Minister's plan and the BJP's plan to go into 24 with the, you know, commitment to Hindutva, to Hinduism, to their ideology. They're going to kick off the campaign with the Ram Mandir. And what better imagery to have two saffron-colored chief ministers also on the dais with the Prime Minister in saffron robe, sorry. So um, that may be uh, one reason why his name is doing the rounds. Of course, there are other names, including Rajvendra, Raghavendra Rathor, Gajendra Shikawat. Uh, Dia Kumari's chances, I feel, are a bit slim because she's considered too lightweight. You know, right. and the whole thing of a Maharani, this is not what the BJP really wants to stand for, which is one reason why Vasundra is also being denied. They don't want to go in for an entitled Maharani uh, kind of a party. So, Diya Kumari is too lightweight. Her time will come, but maybe not now. I What, what I'm hearing is that Mahan Balaknath is ahead, but there are other names also doing the rounds. There we go. And at the same time, uh, Uday, are you still with us? Yes, yes, Devika. Okay, Uday, what are you picking up as far as uh, Mahan Balaknath's uh, position is concerned? You know, most of the key contenders, of course, some of them also uh, uh, were parliament members, so they're in the national capital. But uh, Vasundra Rajay, she's staying put in her house, uh, keeping it very low key, as Priya pointed out, not given any uh, interviews before the elections, not giving any interviews necessarily after the elections. So she's staying there and she's putting up her show of strength while the rest of them are in Delhi, where the, uh, the high command also is. Absolutely, uh, Devika. The others are all, of course, there from C.P. Joshi, who's the state president of the BJP, who's also being talked about as one of the possible CM faces. Uh, he he left. Uh, we spoke to him yesterday evening, in fact, in Jaipur, and then he left, I think, last night itself. Rajavardhan Rathor also gave uh, us an interview at 9 p.m. Uh, yesterday. He also left for Delhi. Diya Kumari, I'm being told, went early this morning. But speaking about Mahant Balaknath, who uh, Priya was also referring to, and thank you, Priya, uh, for your uh, compliments for our reportage as well. It's been great to have you on, Alice, of course, through the elections, also on New 
News X. Uh, we've tried to give our viewers the best election coverage. But Man Balaknath, interestingly, is being talked about, yes, as the Rajasthan's yogi. And they were, uh, they, they were of course, you know, the Hindutva, uh, you know, b b b b pitches that were made through the election from the Kanhaiya, uh, you know, case in Udaipur to, of course, also, uh, you know, charges on the Ashok Gehlot government of minority appeasement. And all of that has worked for the BJP because it has led to this comprehensive win. There were four, uh, you know, religious uh, leaders, including Man Balaknath, including uh, Narayan Giri, including Mukund Balacharya, who we also spoke with earlier today, Devika. Uh, and we spoke about, you know, he, he said that now there is going to be no non-veg served in certain areas of Havamel, his constituency. Now he said there is going to be no Mandir land uh, that is going to be allowed to be taken over by mafia. So that pitch is very much worked also for the BJP. Could it lead, though, to Man Balaknath? To become uh, the CM, that is something we'll have to wait and watch for. Uh, but yes, his name is also being talked about because it has worked well for the BJP in UP, where Yogi is now one of their star campaigners in all the states this time in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, where I, uh, you know, roamed around quite extensively. The people were saying, "Ki Modi ji ko bilao, magar Baba ji ko zarur lao." Because they wanted, you know, him, his presence, and that is actually translated into votes as well for the party. It's not merely been crowds uh, it, itself. So those are other names that are doing the rounds. Of course, there are dark horses like Om Birla also, who have yes. been spoken about. Remember, he's he's from Kota. So it's a plethora of names. Perhaps in the next 24 to 48 hours, sources tell us a BJP uh, uh, MLA's meeting will be called. Observers okay. will be appointed. Right now, no MLA has got a call. I spoke to several of them today. The Congress, interestingly, which has lost Rajasthan, has convened its meeting of its MLA's for tomorrow 11 a.m. They're already going into introspection mode. Perhaps tomorrow decision will be taken on who will be the leader of opposition. Will it still be Ashok Gehlot or will it be Sachin Pilot uh, or someone else who will be the leader of opposition? Very, that is also very something interesting to watch out developments that are taking place in Rajasthan. Uh, we have to quickly move across to the other states as well. Uh, let's just listen into a conversation that Uday has had uh, with a leader from Rajasthan. Let's quickly listen in. आप सीधा हम आपका रुख कर रहे हैं जयपुर से जहां बीजेपी को बहुमत मिली है और कल के जीत के बारे में आइए सीधा आपकी मुलाकात करवाते हैं बीजेपी के कालीचरण सराफ से जो मालवीय नगर से दोबारा जीत कर आए हैं तो पहले तो सर कल की जीत के बारे में क्या कहेंगे आप आपकी और पार्टी की देखिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी की नीतियों की जीत है मोदी जी के गारंटियों की जीत है और कांग्रेस की नाकामयाबियों की जीत है क्योंकि कांग्रेस ने पिछले पाँच साल में जिस प्रकार का कुशासन राजस्थान को दिया इससे जनता बहुत परेशान थी और जनता इंतजार कर रही थी कि कब चुनाव हो और कब कांग्रेस का सुपड़ा साफ अब बड़ा सवाल ये है कि मुख्यमंत्री कौन बनेगा और कब बनेगा शीर्ष नेतृत्व तय करेगा ये सब भविष्य के गर्भ में है कौन उचित होगा क्या वसुंधरा राजे जी के नेतृत्व में आपको विश्वास है अब तक वही केंद्रीय नेतृत्व पे विश्वास है जो भी वो तय करेंगे वो ही मुख्यमंत्री होगा हम देख रहे हैं कि बहुत सारे नेता जो हैं वसुंधरा जी के बंगले जा रहे हैं आप खुद गए हैं वहाँ हाँ तो वसुंधरा जी हमारी नेता है इसलिए गए निश्चित रूप से पर मुख्यमंत्री तो तय शीर्ष नेतृत्व करेगा अब तक फैसला हुआ है विधायक दल बैठक का अच्छा एक आखिरी सवाल हम आपसे पूछेंगे की क्या क्या अच्छे गुण होने चाहिए जो मुख्यमंत्री अब होगा उनमें सब जनता बताती है जनता परेशान तय करती है जादूगरी इस बार चला नहीं हाँ नहीं चला चलिए थैंक यू थैंक यू ये थे कालीचरण सराफ जो हमसे बातचीत कर रहे थे उनकी जीत के बारे में और अगला मुख्यमंत्री कौन बनेगा उस पर अपनी राय हमें दे रहे थे कैमरा दिनेश ठाकुर के संग उदय प्रताप सिंह इंडिया न्यूज और न्यूज एक्स जयपुर